How's it going guys? What we're going to be doing in this video is I'm actually going to show you how to get started setting up the MUI interface where we can have a, all of our equipment, our floor plans, things like that. As I mentioned in a previous video, this is going to be a, a several part series. So this video is specifically focused on building the first elements within the MUI where you can see a, uh, a lot of your building, your floor plan and stuff like that. This is currently what we have for one building. You can see there are no floors or anything like that. And we will be adding to that to where we can have a graphic, we can have floor plans. And just like what we see here is uh, on this building here, we see that we have our floor plans. We see we have our schedule, all of our equipment down at the bottom based upon floor. So that's what we're gonna be getting started with. The first thing that you're gonna to want to do is to become familiar with your SCT. This is where we're gonna be doing a lot of work. This is where we're gonna be setting up our spaces and all of that kind of thing. And one thing that you want to remember as well when you do your uh, downloads, or I should say synchronization to the server, uh, that's something that I tend to do just talking with one of the JCI techs it seems to work a little better for us is instead of doing a, an, a, a download to the server uh, we will typically do a synchronization when you go to your manage archive it's going to give you the options here to either upload or download and what we select is synchronize and, and it seems to work very well especially if you have multiple people working on building your graphics if you have uh, one person working on one building and another person working on another that way you do not lose the work that they have done so now what we have here is we have our network tree we're going to go into our spaces this is where we will be building uh, these folders. You can see here this side of the screen here that the mouse is hovering over corresponds to the left side of the screen here. Uh, you can see all of the buildings uh, here just in line and it will match what we see on this side here. This is where we're going to be doing our navigation from within MUI. What I'm going to go now I'm going to go down here and this is the particular building that we're going to be working on down at the bottom and there's a lot that we need to add to that so what I'm going to go up here to is facility I'm going to go to rapid archive this is where you would insert uh, equipment definitions things like that there's also uh, the MUI config which is going to give you the edit space tree and this is where we are going to be editing this current space tree so I'm going to select that and it is going to pull this over into the window here and give us the option of adding devices that sort of thing or adding spaces so I will hit the edit button and you will see all these icons appear here this is where we can do our arranging this is where we can add things, that sort of thing. And we will be coming back to this uh, several times. I have my building highlighted. I want to add a space within this building. So I'm going to go to this icon here and you can see it comes up and says new folder. So I click that and it will create a new folder for us within this space. You can see it here, it highlighted it here uh, again, just to show you, I'm just going to cancel out of this since we didn't have that expanded. I'm going to expand this. You can see we only have currently have one folder. When I hit the edit button and I hit this button here, it populates another one. What it will do is actually duplicate the previous folder and then just put a one out beside that or whatever. And you can change that. I'm going to change that right here. I'm going to call this uh, basement. This That's what this level is going to be. Uh, so just type it in just like that we're not going to be adding any devices to it currently uh, until we get those built and you can see here that I clicked off of that I have now got my basement space but I want to move it up I want to have that floor spaces up above this equipment folder so I'm going to go up here I'm going to hit the arrow and it will move that up for me if I want to create another folder I just go back here 
I press my new folder again and uh, you can see again it has a replicated the, the uh, previous floor or the previous space name and I don't want that so I'm just going to highlight that and I'm just going to go through here and create a few floors go back again and you can see there I made a mistake and hit the wrong button First floor, hit it again, go down, click on it, <clears throat> and we just keep going. And then I'm going to save. Okay, we have our spaces here. And as you can see, I have the equipment uh, that is not arranged exactly where I want that to be. So I'm just going to go in and hit edit. And I'm simply going to move that into the correct position where I want it just like that. And then hit save. And you'll notice when I hit save the first time the tree collapsed and that is because of the fact that it has now updated the tree here and you can see <clears throat> those folders uh, down at the bottom i drop this down and you can see each of those here and you can see the arrow the green arrow out beside this and what that means is there has been an edit made to this and it needs to be downloaded or in our case synchronized which is what we will be doing now i'm going to go to the all items tab and what i want to do now i'm going to go into my server and we have our equipment definitions folder here i'm going to drop that down and i highly recommend that you put in a folder per building or per space that you're going to be using, or at least at the building level. It's going to help keep, you th keep things organized and make it a little easier for you when you come back to do any kind of modifications and that sort of thing. So you can simply scroll through. You can add a folder basically the same way that we did previously. What I'm going to be doing here is double-clicking into this. I hit the Advanced tab, and you can see that all it is is just a folder just plain simple folder inside that folder is where we will be building our equipment definitions all right i already have one here and we're going to be adding some more so what i'll do here is go back up to facility i have my folder highlighted where i want it put prepare rapid archive and I will go to insert equipment definitions but before I do that I want to show you something this is the equipment tab here when I drop that down it has a folder here for equipment and you will see this is all of the devices that we have within the system or at least that have been set up with an equipment definition so far and one thing that we do not have on this is uh, the particular trunks for that device. That's what I was wanting to show you. It just takes me a moment here to find the specific folder where that is. You'll see that we basically have these named as the name of the NAE, and that is because of the way that it pulls this over. And again, let me find the specific folder that I want you to see because there's something in here that I definitely want you to know. And you can see here we have equipment definitions in this folder. This is going to be 
the location of where we will be building those equipment definitions and you'll see what I mean here shortly. There's a few already in there. We will be adding to that. You will notice that there are currently just four but there's something I want you to notice when we uh, go here after we build the equipment definitions. So I'm going to go back over to my all items tab inside the equipment definitions folder. I have that highlighted. I'm going to go back up to facility. I'm going to go prepare rapid archive and insert equipment definition. I'm going to click that. It's going to take it just a moment to uh, think about things, I suppose, and then it's going to bring this screen up here. If I wanted to add a subfolder within this folder, I can do that right here. Uh, I can also just continue and hit next and I will have the option here of naming that equipment definitions folder or so what I, or the equipment definitions that I'm building. So what I am going to call this is this is just going to be an equipment definitions for the VAVs within the system. I then hit next. And of course, this is the configure screen, uh, which you can link to graphics. You can define the type, which this is going to be for HVAC. Uh, you can change that if this is going to be for something else as far as fire, security, administrative, or just whatever, even lighting, refrigeration, just a whole list of things down through there that you can set the authorization category for. So we're just going to leave that as HVAC since that's what this is going to be covering. And we're going to make sure that uh, our spelling is correct, that that's exactly what we want. I'm going to hit next. And of course, this is just a summary screen and I'm going to hit finish and it will populate what I just created right here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to right click this. Uh, let's just double click it first. Let's just pull it over and look at it. What do we have so far? We have nothing. Okay, we have nothing in here that uh, will tell us anything about what we have. So we've got to add the devices into this. So if I went into this, uh, you know, it's going to give me an add, a plus, things like that. And if I wanted to add something here, there's a couple of ways you can do things. You can do it this way to where it's just going to give you this, and you've got to go in here and add things individually. This is not what we're going to be doing, so I'm going to cancel out of this. We're not at uh, that point yet to where we want to be fooling with that. So I'm going to go to this. I'm going to right-click it. I'm going to open in Discovery. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me this screen here. You don't really see a lot about this. This is where I'm going to add the device that I want to the system. So I'm going to hit the plus sign here. And I'm just going to drill down through the navigation tree. It's going to bring up this navigation tree. And I'm going to drill down through it until I find the particular device that I want. And what I'm basically going to do is simply grab one of the VAVs. Uh, it has been my experience with the limited amount of time on this. You want to start by grabbing just one device uh, before you grab a group of them. What tend to, tended to happen uh, when I hit this was that it uh, sh did not populate the points the way that I wanted it to. We'll talk about that here in just a few minutes a little more in detail. But you can see here it pulled in this device and it has this tab here to where I can add the areas that, that this device is serving. Uh, you, I can add that now or I can come back to that later we're going to come back to that later because it's actually going to be uh, pulling some of the stuff in as we go through it. And now when I hit the save button, notice what the screen does. You have not mapped serving relationships uh, for the equipment. That's no big deal. It will allow you to continue anyway. So I'm going to hit save because we will be coming back and doing that later. And once it gives me that, it says successfully created one equipment object. I'm going to hit OK. I want to go back to my equipment folder. Now, you notice that nothing has changed here yet, but it will very shortly. Uh, let's just do a refresh all, and then we will go back in just to see if it has updated anything so far. You can see here we have it highlighted now, and then it is showing me this folder 
This is N2-1, and we have a VAV that corresponds to the one that we added to our equipment definition. When you add that to the equipment definition, it is automatically going to create this for you under the equipment tab. That is part of how this system works, and it can be a little confusing getting started with this, and that's why I wanted to make this video to kind of help you guys get started with it. There's a lot of more detail that we will be getting into later, but for now, we're simply going to continue getting started with building our space. I'm going to go back over to my All Items tab. I'm going to drop that down. I'm going to drop down this folder. I'm going to drop down this one and go back down to my equipment definition that I just created. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to right click, open in discovery. And again, this is where it will come back in. And you know, the screen did not change. So we're already in our discovery mode. But now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to double click this particular equipment definition. All right, here, if I hit edit, I uh, can go in. I have this pulled over where I have basically nothing in this display here. I'm going to come down here to my folder where my devices are. I'm going to drop this down. I am going to come back over. I'm going to grab that VAV. And you can see when I pull that into this, it populates all of the individual points. I have my occupancy command and all that. This is where you're going to add in the points that you want to display in the system. And you can move them around and things like that. I'm going to hit occupancy. That's, of course, one that I want. I want the zone temperature. I want the discharge temperature, the warmer cool adjust, and so on. And you can move them up and down here. Just highlight and hit the up or down arrow because this lower part here is how they are going to appear in order. And I'm simply going to scroll on down. And you can get all of your other set points, your flow, things like that, supply flow set point, which we're going to grab those. And you can also hit this up top and select all. You know, uh, it's not wanting to work for me for some reason, but you can typically, you can select all of them just like that. You can see here, uh, for whatever reason, it decided to work then, but it has things out of order. And as I'd mentioned earlier, you can simply highlight one and move it to where you want, where you want it to appear. Okay, that sort of thing. You can move that around and it will uh, populate that for you. I'm going to hit save. And all of those particular points, I'm now going to hit open in discovery. And it has populated all of these points for this equipment the way that I have it selected. <clears throat> you can see here, and this is the point. This is what you want to uh, really look at. You want to make sure that each of these populate the way that you expect them to. Uh, you know, you can just scroll over and you can change those if you needed to change them from here. Now that we have that particular device created, what else I'm going to do is I'm going to just hit that first one, I'm going to scroll all the way down. I know that each of these devices are uh, going to be pulled into this. They're all VAV, so I'm just going to grab an entire group of them, pull them over, and I'm just going to drop them here into the discovery. And you will see that after it thinks about it for a minute, it is going to populate each of these points right here. You can see I've pulled them all over and it has pulled those individual points for each of these VAVs. Okay, just like that. And again, guys, if you wanted to do some kind of rearranging uh, as far as where you want these placed, you can go back in and change that. All right, if uh, you don't have any of these points that are populated, uh, that you can actually go in and pull in that individual point. Now, in the past, when I've tried to pull all of these over at one time uh, without having one in here, uh, it had uh, basically it left all of these blank, and I had to go back in and I could have either 
gone in and built them individually or just started over and grabbed them. Uh, the first one, get all the points pulled in and then uh, grab the rest of them. Now the other way that I can add these in is I can hit my plus sign just like that. I can scroll down to my particular device. I can drop down the trunk that it is under and I can select the top one. I can scroll all the way down, go through here. I can uh, hit the individual devices and or just whatever but all of these are devices that I'm going to be pulling in so I highlight that one and then I hit OK. When I do that it will populate all of the remaining devices within this system. Okay, it takes it just a moment, but there they are. Okay, and it has done us uh, done it just the same way that we had before, to where it populated everything in, pulled everything in where it needed to be. I'm going to hit save. Uh, again, it is asking us to map the relationships, which we will do later. So I'm just going to hit save, and it's going to take a moment to. Uh, basically get everything saved, get everything in where it needs to be, and then I want to go back to show you something in the equipment folder. You can see here successfully created uh, equipment objects. I'm going to do a refresh all tabs. I'm going to go back to my equipment tab. I'm going to drop that down and you can see now we have two trunks in one uh, trunk 1 and trunk 2 and that is where all of our equipment has been created and th from this from the uh, folder here this is where we're going to be adding our equipment to the spaces uh, instead of adding it directly from the tree we're going to be adding it from here and what we did as far as selecting the individual points and arranging that uh, the way that we wanted it that is what uh, what we have done here and that's what we're going to be adding to our space so now then we have our space tree uh, here so I want to edit my spaces and if you remember earlier how we got into that simply go up to facility I'm going to go down to the MUI config and edit space tree now then that we have the space tree over in our edit window I will go down here I'm going to drop down that folder that I created uh, you know those spaces that we created here so if I simply double click this which I don't want to change the name so let me out of there okay I have this folder here and for each of those spaces I'm going to open my equipment tab and I'm simply going to go and highlight the two boxes that I need for the space and I'm going to click and hold and then I'm just going to drag them right here into this particular space. You can see there that I'm uh, highlighted over the floor where I want them. I'm just going to release it and it automatically put them in there for us and you can see them right there. Okay, we have created the space and we have added these two VAVs to that space. So I, all I have to do now is simply continue. I can simply go in here. These particular devices are for the ground level, which is going to be the next level up. So I can simply go through, highlight these individually, just like this. So just bear with me. It'll take me just a moment to get all of these uh, added but I can go down through. I just want to make sure that I have all of them checked to be able to pull them over and then we will be doing that the exact same way. I get all of them selected. I'm going to grab, click and drag and pull them over into the ground floor folder. But before I do that, I want to show you all something. I've made a mistake. These two devices here, they are in the wrong floor. So how do I fix that? So I drop that down. I can go in here. I can click this and it will give me the option. It'll take it just a moment. But if I wanted to change this, I can go down to the equipment folder. I can drop this down. 
I can scroll down to where those devices were. And instead of that particular device, I'm going to select a different one. Okay, these are all for the basement, but I needed these to be for ground. So I will simply highlight one of those. I will hit OK and notice it on the screen over here. You will see it change. Okay, just like that. I'll go to the next one. I click that little square box. I then scroll back down and I grab my second device, but I need to go into the equipment tab, drop it over. You know, you don't want to pull it straight from the network tree. It seems to pull it very unusually. It, it, there's uh, just the way that it does, it does not seem to be doing it uh, the way you may think. So I'm going to grab the next one and there it is. So I have the first two added to that. Okay, that's another way that you can add this. You can also hit, you hit your save button just like that and of course it flashed and it uh, went through but now I'm going to go back in and I am going to continue with what I'm doing. I'm going to drop down my equipment folder go back in here and I'm going to grab those two for the basement and put them in the right location this time. Grab, just drop and drag. It's all that I have to do. Highlight over the basement, drop them, there they are. There's the list. Okay, I've already added those two to the other, other floor, so I'm just simply going to highlight the remaining, grab them, pull them over to my ground folder, just like that. Okay, very simple. You can see that it added all of those in here very easily. The other way of doing that, if I click into this particular space here, now it gives me the list as far as served by. I can hit the button and add them in this way to where I simply bring this up and then I hit this square box, drill down to the uh, equipment tab. Uh, and then drill down to the equipment itself that you're looking for. Okay, this one is for the first floor, so I can simply highlight one of those. I can do it this way. I hit the OK button, and it has added it. Okay, that is the other way that you can add those. But for me, I think that it's just as easy, if not easier, just to grab them and simply drag and drop. As you've seen there, there's two different ways you can do that. So I will let you make the choice for your system as far as which is going to be the best. Now, another way that uh, when you do pull those over like that, one thing that you can do is you can uh, rearrange the order. Okay, when if I can get that screen to go away. It wants to populate something kind of crazy in this here. So let's just do this another way. I'm going to stretch this out. Just bear with me a minute because I do want to show you something. This little box, if I go in here, this is all of the ones that I've created. If I want to change the order that they are in, I can simply highlight one and I can move it up, move it down, just whatever I need to do. Okay, just like that. And then hit OK. All right, let's maximize this back out, and we're going to get look back in our first floor. This is where I added that first box, but I want to add the remaining. So instead of going in and adding them individually, I'm simply going to drop back down. I am going to go through here, grab all of the first floor VAVs, simply scroll down through until I hit just the first floor. I have that highlighted. I'm going to grab those, pull it into the first floor, and then drop them. And it populated the remaining devices for the first floor. Then I simply continue. I'm going to grab all of the second floor, same process. Simply scroll on down, grab those, drag it over, drop it into the second floor folder. And then, of course, our remaining floor, third floor, same process just like that now i'm going to hit save now that i've saved it the screen went away i can go back into my spaces tab and it again gives me all that arrow for that and it is wanting a download because of the arrows you can see that there that means that you've done an edit and it is not displaying on the system okay if you uh what we're going to do now I'm going to do a refresh. Now on our system, 
we've made those changes, but we still don't have anything appearing here. This is why we need to synchronize. What I'm going to do now is use SCT. I'm going to go into my tools and I'm going to go through the process of synchronizing the server. So I'm going to highlight my all items tab. I'm just going to highlight the server. I'm going to go back into tools, uh, manage archive, and then I'm going to select synchronize. This is going to take a few minutes, so what I'm going to do is actually pause the video and then come back to this. But as many of you guys are aware, if you've ever done this, if you've ever done kind of any kind of backup, then you know how to do this process. So give me just a few minutes while I get the server synchronized. Now we have the synchronization of the server complete. Uh, even though it's showing that green arrow there, I'm just going to refresh all of my tabs and you will see that it went away. Now you need to remember that it will also boot you out of MUI when you do a server synchronization. So anyone that is working within MUI, uh, you might want to let them know that they will get booted out when you do the synchronization. Uh, so I have now logged back in and what we're going to do now is simply scroll down to our building. I'm going to click on that building and you can see here all of those spaces that we created previously. You can see a mistake that I made here, so I need to go back in and correct that. Uh, you can do some of this changing in the uh, MUI offline uh, and, before, and do uh, all of the setup of everything prior to getting the spaces set up. Uh, prior to doing your synchronization and that way you know when you go just right off the bat you have it looking just the way that you want it to but just for demonstrations I'm showing you mistakes and all guys uh, you can see here we have all of our VAVs on the ground floor uh, we have the basement uh, and we have everything with, that within the system now it automatically pulls in your schedules. Anytime you have any piece of equipment associated with the schedule, uh, just the way that we have our dashboard set up, it will populate that schedule for that in this window here. You can see that we currently do not have any graphics, uh, our floor plans or anything like that. I will be showing you how to do that in a future video. But for now, I just wanted to show you this. I just wanted to show you some of the basic setup of getting your devices pulled into MUI. All right, this is how we set up our spaces and that sort of thing. We have our equipment down here. Uh, you know, we have our different pages. I can look at this here and I can show you the equipment summary screen, uh, which really does not give us a lot of information yet because we haven't finished got, getting everything set up on it yet. Page one is of course our graphics and things like that. That's all things that you can customize. Uh, I can expand if I wanted to expand this here I simply hit those arrows there and it gives me a little bit better view of each of these devices you will notice that it arranged them the way that we arranged them in the uh, the d discovery window and you can go back in you can change that you can reorder these make them look a little cleaner depending on how you want yours to be i can simply click into one of these now i have this information here i have the occupancy command all of my text that i would normally see within Metasys, all of those points that I selected are now pulled into MUI to where I can see it, just like this. I can go back here, and this is another neat feature of MUI, since there are trends associated with points in this VAV, it automatically populates those trends in here for us to where we can do comparisons. As I talked about in a previous video, you can go in, you can compare, add uh, other trends, things like that for comparison along the same time frame. But this is a very neat system. We currently do not have any graphics. Again, that is going to be coming in a future video. But guys, for right now, I hope this is helpful to you. I hope that it gives you just a little bit better understanding of how to start setting up spaces within MUI. Uh, there's a lot of customization that can be done. 
uh, some of which I will show in future videos. But for now, guys, I hope this helps you get started. Uh, if it does help you get started, I would appreciate le uh, you letting me know down in the comments below. Also, guys, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out all of the links down in the description, guys. If you want to support what we do here, if it's helpful to you, you purchasing anything through those links, uh, helps to go to support the channel. You know, it's through Amazon. Uh, just go to Amazon through one of those links and then do a search for something else that you're wanting to buy from there. And it really helps to support what we do here. Guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on the channel and we will see you next time.